everybody, welcome back. My name is Prunk, and we are going to be playing part two of The Lost Minds of Solasta. This is my own mod that I've been just really wanting to showcase and show off, and I'm hopefully doing it some justice for y'all. So I'm getting to show off this. I want, the reason I want to do it is I put a lot of work into it, and I tried making it as authentic to Lost Minds of Van Delver as I could um, with the very limited resources that I was given. So. With that, um, hopefully you like this is part two. If you have not seen part one, go ahead and check that out because otherwise part two might not make sense. Uh, but we are here in the city of Vandal uh, Vandalin. Yeah, I was good. Yeah, Vandalin is the city. Vandelver is the mine. And uh, let's let's show it off. We just rescued Sildar, and it seems like Sildar is right here talking to. It looks like Angby. So let's go talk to them. New quest: Save Gundren. Angby, I'm afraid I have some terrible news. Gundren has been captured by some goblin band called the Black Spiders. Uh, what? Um, are you messing with me? No, you fool! I wouldn't waste my time with this. These adventurers saved my life, but we need to find out where uh, where they took him and how to get him back. He has the map. It's true. I'm afraid we're, we've uh, heard several goblins admit to the capture, but afraid we don't have any leads on where to go. <laughs> well... It might be a long shot, but I have an idea of who might know. Uh, there's a local gang up there called the Red Brands. Uh, they aren't known for being on the up and up. In fact, they basically run this town using scare tactics. But they might know about this black spider fellow. Uh, sounds dangerous, but we will have to try and meet with them. Uh, where can we find them? Well, the inn's probably a good first choice. But they have a base up on the hill with a big manor. But I doubt they'd take kindly to going up there in their home and asking questions. It's a start. Let's see what we can do. I'll see what I can dig up. I doubt Gundren is in immediate danger, so we have some time as his information is invaluable. And a map is nice, but there's more to entering the mines than just the map. And Gundren knows the secret. In the meantime, town's folks will pay well for a few jobs. And you might need the cash for some better supplies. This is going to be dangerous, and getting some better gear will be necessary to save Gundren. If you've invested, my friends, we will pay you very well for this. A share in the mine can be a life-changing opportunity. We need your help. All right, so um, we know about the town. We know about the, um, the manor. We can either go to the bar or go, what's the like, bidding portal over there to the east? Um, is that east? Never? Nope, it's actually the west. My bad. <laughs> so uh, that's just bad layout. Um... So, we can go up and... What is this golem? It's a shopkeep. Oh my goodness. Why? What, what a weird situation. We've got an iron golem shopkeeper, but we are going to sell. Now, I'm going to look around. This guy's going to give me two gold for a scimitar. And let's see. What, what do you do? I'm just curious. Is this... Three gold for a scimitar. Okay. You're a little bit better. The golem's kind of ripping me off. Trying to rip me off. All these different general store people. What do you got? Six gold for a scimitar. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so far, if the, the people up front were trying to rip it, you're, you're not that good either. Um, this is a sorcerer. Let's see, what do you got? Um, two gold. So, so far, this chick is pretty good. Let's see, two gold. Okay, so this chick giving me six gold for a scimitar, it seems like a pretty good deal. I'm glad I shopped around and got to see different deals for people. So, this general store has earned my business by giving me the best possible offer. So, let's just sell everything and lighten our load quite a bit. Uh, what was that last one I gave? I don't know, I'm going to keep the javelins. Uh, short bows are about six gold as well. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Two, 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 two. Um, a scroll of Featherfall one won't ever use. Hypnotic Pattern is good. Um, I'm going to sell it. I would just rather have the gold. Uh, mass of, uh, scroll of Mass Cure Wounds. Okay. Not too bad. I'm going to keep an extra scimitar just in case. Um, I got plenty, actually. No, let me get rid of those. Yeah, we're gonna keep, I'm going to keep one scimitar just in case. Uh, mass scroll of cure wounds, that can be an emergency. Mass healing word, emergency. Misty step, eh, it's not necessary as much. Uh, Revivify, emergency. Scroll of cure wounds, I'm never going to make them. 
Um, I'm going to get rid of that. That's just money. I don't make poisons. I'm not going to bother with it. We're on easy mode. I don't have to. And because I'm not really bothering with any of these, let's just get rid of all of these nice nifty resources. And all these spiders. Look, oh my goodness. Now I have so much money to do whatever. I don't need this key anymore. So I will say this. Um, be careful about what you're selling for like key items or keys in general. Um, and like all these property things. So I'm, uh, I, I don't, I, I know I don't need this key anymore, but I'm still going to just hold on to it for preaching what I say. Cause I don't remember if I accidentally made, Hey, you need this. We don't need the cancel contract though. Uh, Dire Wolf Belt, we'll just, so, well, and we'll conclude. Let's just get a bunch of money. Um, we can buy some potions if we really want. I don't think I need the potions. Uh, let's, did I put anything else into these guys? I did. So, do, 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 do. Let's get rid of all this junk. Don't need that. Um, we are going to keep the daggers so I can throw. I should probably, that's one perk of having, so, having the dagger in the offhand so you can throw a ranged weapon is pretty nice. Um, but, uh, so I'm just going to keep them as throwing weapons just in case. Um, let's see. We don't need this other scimitar. We don't need this. We'll keep the extra. We don't need the dagger. There we go. So we just sold a lot. And we have 14,000 gold. 1,400 gold. Um, pretty good. But what is this guy trying to sell? Because he was offering us three gold. It was a trick. And it's like, people avoid the golem. He doesn't give you good. But this guy does have some bag of holdings. Um, there is some plus one armor here. Plus one weapons. Not too shabby. I like it. Okay. Um, let's see. There is a town. Let's, let's see. It's a little quest board. The board is mostly empty. It just says, see Damarin in the Stonehill Tavern. Okay. Uh, let's go check this out. What's this area? Uh, this is the Stonehill Tavern. Okay. Okay. Stonehill Inn. Uh, let's just look around the town. It looks like a little garden area. A little place. We're mostly just in the market district here. Not too shabby. This is the inn. Let's oh, this area. Scary area. City guard is over here. Red Brand Hideout. Just on a big sign. It's just Red Brand Hideout. Okay. And the city guard is just hanging out there. So, all right, interesting. Um, well, we either go to the Red Band, hired out right away, or the inn. You are more than welcome to, uh, to just go in there and try and take out the Red Band hideout and just barge through the front door. I'm going to just, I, I think I'm going to be a little bit more practical. We don't need to just barge into their hideout. I don't recommend you guys do it either. another little tavern area. Ooh, torches just pop up. Let's see. Red Band Captain. Hi. Better watch yourself, adventurer. We run this town. Okay. Red Band Ruffian. Okay, um, just cool. I'm just gonna walk over here and talk. Hey, Darren. Yeah, I heard about you. Hi. Clear skies. We hear the guy talk to in order to get some work around here. Clear skies. You're right, I am. And my little birds tell me trying to earn some money and mount a rescue mission, eh? Noble endeavors indeed. Wait, so so you think you can put a hit on us? Uh-oh. I'd uh, rather get an annoying group in the town's bandits. I warn you, the dangerous folks. Yeah, I heard about them. But if it pays well, we might be interested. Oh, it will. Um, but in the meantime, perhaps you get rolling. Orchard it from has a farm has undead problems. Should be simple enough. There's a banshee out there with town folks running scared from the kind of zombies. Clear them out by any means. And what? Well, I got orcs that need to be flooded out of a bit of north. They keep raiding the caravans. Might be a bit tougher. Anything else? Uh, well, I personally pay you to eliminate the red brands <laughs> individually. They're pretty weak, but as a group, there's a lot of them. They can take Tough and Wizard Gla Leader Glassbeard. He's not to be messed with. Take him down fast and hard before he can cast something nasty on you. If you're really feeling brave, I got a dragon problem in Thunder Tree, but that might be a lid off if you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> um, and these guys are pissed because uh, he offered to try and take a hit. So now, now they must have overheard. Um, even though I, I definitely did not time that that well, but most people just skip through the dialogue, which is what I was doing during testing. Uh, so I didn't want to have to do it. I wanted to make sure it kind of made sense, and most people are just going to click, 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 I feel like. Um, so that's kind of what uh, were these guys. So these guys are pissed because um, Darren said he's going to put a brand, red brand just to put a hit out. So now i got to figure out my way to deal with these guys inside of poor Toblin's little 
um, cavern. Or tavern. Let's see, so... Red Brand, Red Brand, 14 AC, 15 AC, but it's a captain with 65 hit points. That is actually pretty scary. Um, let's, let's see if I can hold person here. Alright! Very, very good. We're gonna hold our ground, I think, right... Let's move right here. That way we're not in attack, but I want to be able to get our rogue to kind of come up here and start critting. So we're gonna do bonus action, disengage. We're gonna do here. And let's just have her strike and get a crit. That's the way. I don't have a bonus offhand attack, unfortunately, but that's okay because we have our paladin coming in right here. I'll take the opportunity to attack. Let's just focus on her while she is paralyzed. And of course we're gonna crit smite. Oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. Nasty. That was nasty. Oh, I should have done the divine favor first. I always forget about that. Ooh, our wizard in the front line fights. He did take some hit. Uh oh, other one's coming in for our wizard. Or oh, he's going for the paladin. Trying to relieve some stress on their captain, who is uh, badly wounded. Uh, Dimgo is going to just this and just hurt my teammate again. Um, we we can burning hands our these guys. Arcana, evil. All right, they both succeeded. Five points of damage did not do nearly as much as I thought it was worth. He, she is paralyzed. She is going to break free from the wisdom save, so she is no longer paralyzed. Um, let's try and fit take her up. Not enough. Okay. Um, Let's have the rogue do it with an offhand attack if possible. Nice. The reason I wanted to attack with my offhand was because I wanted to save my main damage to the stuff, because I knew sneak attack would trigger it on that anyways. So I did my offhand attack to hit and uh, to hopefully get the kill with the sneak attack, and got some extra damage on this rough man, Rud Brand Ruffian. Um, this paladin did get struck. Who is. They're all at 11, so I guess it doesn't matter, but let's just finish one soda before we open another. I'm trying to shove him down. Okay. He's gonna get some. St they are focusing the paladin, which is interesting. Normally, the AI would go for like the uh, my little wizard here. Barking doggos. Uh, quiet doggo. All right, we're gonna try and finish this. Six points of damage. Um, this is attack two attack of opportunities if you flee. So let's just have the party try and clean this up for you and try and help you out. Um, let's do let's hit this one. Four points of damage, not horrible. Um, let's sneak attack this guy with the main hand. Not enough, but the offhand should finish it. No. Okay. Um. Crap. Um, I guess your job is to finish him. We don't need to fight. Yeah, spell. We don't need to do. Let's. As a bonus action, use your pre-challenge before your determination. Next hit on a creature. We don't. Need, we're not going to hit. Bonus action. Remove negative condition. Um. Okay. All right. Easy. They do get two attacks though, so it's something to worry about. Uh, let's just do a shocking grass so you can run away properly. He is shocked and run away. And we can probably just finish you off. Let's just do a secret fire. Finished. Awesome. Alright, so we know the red brands are... Re oh, that kind of gives us a taste of what to expect against them, so... Not a bad engagement. We have Toblin here in the general store, and I'm just... Hey there, you have rooms paid for it. Um, advanced by Sildar. Enjoy your stay. Hey, that's kind of nice. Sildar's a good guy. Oh, he does give us money as well. Like, are these things are only... That's kind of unfortunate. Well, their armor is only like two. Scimitar is worth more than armor. And I'm just curious. I want to hold on to that scimitar just in case there's somebody else who I find out who can sell for more than six. What are you doing? Oh, Shrine of Luck. Sister Garel. Hi, Doggo. 
<laughs> he wanted love. Hey, hello there, adventurers. I have a quest to interest in. There's a banshee that holds secret uh, some secrets of a special book. If you could persuade her to help interpret it, we can uncover the secrets of the book. Okay. So we do have a good amount of side quests now. We have the Banshee's Bargain. Uh, recently, Garel's superiors asked her to undertake a delicate mission. They wanted her to persuade a Banshee named Agatha to answer a question about a spell book. Garel sought it out in Agatha's lair, but she did not appear to, uh, for her. It is believed that Agatha can be buttered up with flattery. Interesting. Old Owl Well recommended level 4 to 5. We're only level 3. Um, Darren has um, heard uh, stories from prospectors in the hills northwest of Phandalin. Some digging around in the ruins of an old Isle Well. Most certainly, several prospectors have reported being chased by undead. Clear them out. Um, orc camp of Wyvern Tear. Um, clear out the white orcs in Wyvern Tear who have been raiding caravans. Okay. Um, Radolf the Dr uh, Druid. Radolf is said to exploring the ruins of Thunder Tree. Rumors say he's looking for adventurers for some advanced bounties. Recommended level 5. Okay. Definitely not there. Darren. Right, uh, riddling. Ridding the Red Brands. Darren is concerned about the Red Brands, and he uh, would like to see a group of adventurers teach the ruffians a lesser lesson. He, he tells his characters that it's time someone took a stand against the Le Red Brands leader, Glassstaff. Okay. Shrine of Luck. Hey, this one's easy. Levels 1 to 2. Fan's only temple is a small shrine made of stones taken from a nearby ruins. It is dedicated to Tamora, the goddess of luck and fortune. We're going to need all the luck we can get. Recommended levels 1 to 2. We should probably start there. Slay the Dragon of Thunder Tree. A dragon's been flying around, flighting around in Thunder Tree, and a cult has been sacrificing people to put in it, put it into an end. Five to six. Okay. All right. Um. So let's. I think the first thing we should do is the Shrine of Luck. That's obviously easy. Um. And then hopefully that levels us up a little bit, and we can do Owl to Owl, and then Banshee's Bargain doesn't have a recommended level, so we'll try that next. Um. I don't need to. We're just short. We can take our. We might as well take our long rest while we're here. It's been a long day. Just free. It's a free long rest. Why not? I don't have much to attune to yet, so okay, that's cool. And let's go on over and check out the Shrine of Luck. Leave this area. Now, this is admittedly something I probably could have done better. We can oh, we, we can go back to the gate um, area, and it will be a couple different waypoints there. Um, I don't think I feel like I did a good job explaining that aspect uh, to just go back to the beginning of the area. Maybe I should have had like a like a black pane or something come, kind of come up, but um, it's just I feel like it, okay, we're going out the gate, so that was my mindset. Let's just click over here and see. And so we have a couple options. So the Shrine of Luck was the one I wanted to see first. So let's do this. Ooh, lots of flowers. Okay. Let's pick all the flowers and sell them later. We had a vendor offer me six gold for scimitars. Let's see if there's... What they'll give us for this. Queen Ivy. This is obviously the boring part, I feel like. Mana Clone. Queen Ivy again. It's a nice little pond area. This is beautiful. Oops, there's one right here they missed. So many resources. So if you wanted to craft, you have the option. I don't really care about the crafting in this game. I don't think it's really needed... But I wanted to make sure that players, if they did like the crafting stuff, they had options to do so. Because uh, you will be able to find a bunch of different potions and scrolls and recipes and stuff. So um, if you do like that kind of stuff, then absolutely go ahead and enjoy the crafting. But to me, it's just finding the resources is just really crafting. Oh, wow. What is this? Barthian again. Let's see. Barthian's provisions. Let's see. You will offer me oops, three gold. Not enough. Just curious, what do you guys give me? 16 gold? What? Oh my goodness! I sold all those items! 
and this guy's here offering me 16 gold? Oh my goodness, I never knew that. That's insane. What about these other guys then? What is so special about that scimitar? You're 16 as well. I sold them for six. I sold like 30 like scimitars for like six gold. Oh my goodness. Oh, I screwed myself so badly. Why did I do that to myself? Uh, I should have explored more. Don't nearly have that many goods. Oh, I'm sad. Uh, all right. Well, let's see what the guy. We'll actually look and see what everybody has now. So um, this guy has a belt of regeneration. Pretty good. Um, amulet of health for constitution. Bracers of archery. Bracers of defense. Look at all these items. And they're so expensive, but I get so much money. Ugh. The frustration is so real, guys. Oh, what a horrible, horrible, horrible situation I'm in. Better armors here. Ah, oh, grr, anger face. Okay. Um, well, I can sell a bunch of flowers, and oh my goodness, I'm getting so much money for this stuff. All right. Well, let's go into this wonderful temple that I designed. <laughs> this is the first fucking ever. Sister Grail, welcome to the shrine. Please pay your respects if you are true at heart. The goddess may even send you a blessing, um, uh, pending your skill and faith. Um. Welcome. Approach the shrine and receive a blessing of the goddess. Um, we hope that the gift is what you desire. Okay. This one is was actually hard to code. Um, I originally had like four different chests in here and tried to figure it out because I wanted to make sure you only got one blessing, but I ultimately decided on two. But we're going to just see. Um, Timora's gift it allows us to use one. And we found a gem of seeing. Um, Durant's true sight, this creature can be see in normal and magical darkness and see through invisibility and illusions. Okay, that's all right. Um, let's see what the other one we're going to get. We got Tamira's gift as well. And the Sproach of Scaling. Um, resistance to force damage. Okay, so we got two all right magic items. Um, this does require attunement. I could put that on instead of my holy symbol. But I still be able to cast spells. I will not if I take that off. So I definitely don't want this over my amulet. Brooch of shielding. That would be the same thing. Uh, let's do this to our wizard. And then let's do this to our rogue. And those items are always randomly generated. It is whatever luck you will get a random item, uh, like a wondrous item in there. Uh, take a short rest. Let's just get these stuff in tune for everybody. And a two. Okay. So, Shrine of Luck, not the luckiest. Uh, they are random wondrous items for us. Uh, but we did find some people who are willing to buy our random crap for a lot. Um, and we did complete the quest. That's what those um, little gems are for. Um, because when, and when you collect the two, that was the objective to um, to finish the quest. You carry, get, get those two blessings and you're good. So not much in the terms of XP, not that, that difficult, but we learned a lot that that area right there has some very good merchants. And yeah, we'll, we'll move on. Uh, the next one is Agatha's Lair. Um, this one wasn't uh, rated as well, so let's check it out. Um, it's probably in our level, right? All right, we're in a little swampy area. All right. Um, oh, we're moving through and gross-looking area. Let's move cautiously. As you approach, the air grows cold, and a powerful feeling dread grips of a gold pale light flickers in the air rapidly. She ha might have beautiful once, but hateful expressions. What do you want? Do you know um, it is death to seek me out? Approach the shrine and attempt to persuade Agatha for help. Be warned, only one attempt. So, here you can save scum, if you really want. Um, there is only one chance to get this. I am going to go and try um to do it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna save scum it but the, it is a really good book if you do manage to successfully persuade her 
Um, so you'll have to approach the shrine, but uh-oh, there are some weird tiger drakes here. We don't know what kind of creatures they are. This might be a kind of a tough fight, um, but let's check it out. Let's shoot. Oh, I need to buy arrows. I definitely need to buy arrows next time I move into town. Oh, 19 on the initiative, though. It is a surprise round. We're going to crit this first one. Let's see. That is 22 damage, and it's still not down. Oh, my goodness. What? Ah, what a monster DM you are. is going to be a pretty big challenge, I feel like. Uh, fast Hands doesn't quite do anything. We can do True Sight. Uh, we're not going to use that. So we'll hold on to this. And we'll enter. Well, they are surprised, so it is a good surprise round. Alright, cast spells. Uh, don't have my support. I don't have second level spells. I thought I unlocked them. I forgot to take them. Oh, there we go. That... What it is. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I have Misty Step, but that's not really that great. Thunder Wave's not going to be that great in this situation. Let's just uh, let's just try and snipe somebody away then, so we can't get to us right away, because these things are going to be fast. Uh, so let's do Frost Bolt on any... Who's the furthest I can cast it on? I have to move a little bit more, which I'm not thrilled about. Okay, I, can, I should be able to do it from here. Mr. Dimgo, so close into harm's way, is ranged. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna shoot this one because I don't want it. Uh, hopefully, I can prevent it from coming up to us by one more turn. Um, and then I'm gonna move back a little bit if I can, and we'll end our turn there. Um, meanwhile, our brave little dwarf here. Um, should I use this as a buffing round? I can do spiritual weapon and throw that over here, which is probably better. And then can't cast a spell because I already cast a spell. So let's, you know, yeah, let's. The problem is this does this gives me advantage, which is a miss, unfortunately. Um, but now I don't have my my uh, actual uh, shield. Up. Unfortunately, so it's a little scary, but that was a good hit. That Tiger Drake is badly wounded. Um, we will be able to hopefully finish this off with our humble paladin throwing a javelin. And so hopefully we can finish it off with this. It's not enough. Okay, so we are in a pretty bad spot. So let's bonus action. Let's let's give us shield of faith. Um, we can, I don't really want to just, that one's at 4 health, is it worth just to avoid that extra damage? I think so. I should get my longbow too. We're gonna grab a couple extra supply, or er, items. Let's just finish it. A crit. <sighs> kind of a waste of a crit, unfortunately, but it... It is going to protect the group a little bit more. It's three. It's one less attack. I don't know if these guys have multi-attack or not, so probably worth it. 20 to hit, but the Shield of Faith does put in its work. 19 to miss. Uh-oh. No, my poor little gnome. My god, 14 points of damage. Um, we are going to shocking grasp this guy and try to run away. Ooh, a miss. Okay, so this is kind of where Misty Step comes into play, where we will run and hide. Um, Spiritual weapon, where you at? You are not able to get far enough. So we'll just bring you closer. And from here, is inflict wounds kind of worth doing right now? I don't have it actually. Old person, these are not persons. Um. Stat. 
that, so let's just swing. That's gonna be a miss. All right. All right, Mr. Paladin, I need you to kind of do some work now. Um, that one is wounded. Let's try and tip off this guy. We did not crit, so we're just gonna swing. And we're at a 21 AC, so he's pretty safe-ish. Uh, we are gonna make a shot on this Tiger Drake. And did some extra damage. We got the Bracers doing some a little bit extra chip damage. Uh, she is still well hidden, so we're just gonna keep her there. And unfortunately, these guys are gonna make their work. That is a lot of damage. Not quite enough. Okay. It's flying above. Okay. Um, let's do... We want to try and finish off this weaker one for sure. I don't know. That's not gonna be enough to kill it. But hopefully, we can get a crossbow shot on it. Um... Run too far away. Not how to? I think it's page up. No. How do you go up a scale? There it is. Uh, shift and click up. You can't do that. All right, we're on a grid. All right, spiritual weapon unfortunately isn't doing anything. Um, so cast yeah, spell, sacred flame. Hopefully it's less dexterous than I think. Plus four and if eh, I mean it is what it is. I don't think I would have hit with the bow. Uh, um, it's just I can't hit. We can javelin. You can't smite that. Nobody has your skills. Bravo. All right, we got two down. Um, you're still gonna be able to get your sneak attack off. And with a crit, hell yeah. Not too bad. And, uh, cutting action. We can't hide. Let's go hide in the bush. There we go. We'll hide now. Oof. Big hit. To make a con save, it's going for the wizard. 16 will normally hit, but we're going to pass that shield and block that, because that is a, some heavy hitting if they do hit. Um, we will do 15. Can I, I'm going to upcast this to, let's do a second level spell, because that technically counts as a third, and we're just going to shoot five missiles at it. Yeah, that was worth it. We should have done Sacred Flame. <gasps> Spiritual weapon, you haven't done anything. <laughs> what a freaking. Alright, whatever. Um, we'll end your turn. Um, Paladin can't do much against this ranged foe. It's not, you can't. You're not. Oh, I smited it by mistake. I did not actually mean to do that. Cast spell, can't do it, so we'll just hang out. And hopefully, Miss Sneaky Girl will be able to take a shot. Can I just sit here? Still hidden. Let's hang out. We leave no one behind. Oh, he fell. Um, alright. Uh let's it's only five though. We should be able to pick him up. <laughs> or not. Have the rogue take it out. Oops. Careful aim. Don't mess this up. Another crit. Wow. Love it. Alright, that was definitely a tougher fight. Um, he's unconscious. We'll uh, take care of these guys. Let's see. Um, and let's just take a short rest. Get our paladin back up. A little bit more tough than I thought it would be. 
14, 23. I'll get this topped off. Arcane recovery. I'll just get a second level spot just in case. And let's see. All right, so this must be the shrine. All right. I'm not safe scumming it, but we will be casting. I need, I think, a relig or is a persuasion check. So I'm going to cast guidance. Said they like flattery. We'll make our paladin. Paladin. Adventures, you flatter me. I suppose I can give you my knowledge. All right. Plus eight with the persuasion check. We got a leather bound book. What is this a leather bound? Increase your intelligence by two. Whatever, bro. Oh, that's so good. And we leveled up. So we are now officially going to be level four. Let's uh, let's run back over there. Um, there is another path looking like that way, but I'm going to level up because. Why the hell not? We just got a fancy book. Um, we're at level four, so I can bump up my intelligence by two. So I, uh, I'm, I'm looking at this. Let's do this. Yeah, I know. Performing long rest. We got 14 hours. We fought some dragon things, and now we need a nap. <laughs> like, that's just how adventuring works with D&D. All right. Level up the paladin. Level four. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, so ability score, bonus feats. Um, so here's the thing, I saw some um, gauntlets that will give me better strength. I saw some, uh, like, we can buff up our charisma because if, if we really wanted. I'm thinking a feat might be better in this case. And let's see, if I can get something that will give me a plus one to my con on top of it, let's, let's just check this out. I am playing with some of the mods, um, the uh, unfinished business mod. It is probably the best one to kind of just really improve the gameplay. Um, if I do Blessing of Elements, it raises my constitution and gives me um, proficiency saving throws for a paladin, but I think I get that anyways. So, I would, normally warns you if, if not. Yeah, let's see. Plus, you gain light proficiency, you gain proficiency. So, this one's warning you that you already possess some of the benefits. Yeah, so... Um, Starting to the tundra plus one constitution, you gain proficiency in that. We already have some of that. So I do, like, the mod does kind of tell you some really cool things with it. Ambidextrous, Creed of America, Celeste, Creed of Celasta. Um, what is my proficient? I get, yeah, plus one, or proficient with wisdom and charisma saving throws because of being a paladin. So if I do the plus one, now I can get the necklace, though, as well that was there and give me the um, extra constitution boost, but I'm probably going to give that to my cleric if possible. Um, hmm. This is tough. Increase your constitution by one, and you're... Basically, it's a tough feat. Um, with this, as a bonus. I honestly think I might do this, because he keeps falling. Uh, let's give him the plus one constitution, um, and yeah, let's give him the, the boost for constitution, and now he's got the tough feet, basically, so let's do that. Now his health scaled up to 40. Awesome. Okay. All right, Mr. Wizard, we are going to do an ability score improvement for sure. Uh, get you to 18, and then... Class cantrip. Uh, which one do I like? Uh, Dazzle does get lower AC. That can come in handy in this. Poison spray is a constitution saving throw, I believe. Um, acid splash is... Not alt. Um, let's see. 1d6. It's a deck saving throw. I already have something for deck saving throws. Don't need that. Um... Shadow Dagger is a Wisdom saving throw, and it's Psychic Damage, which is pretty nice. Um, Dazzle does lower the target's AC and prevent reactions. That is okay, but it's a melee range. I don't want to keep him in melee range. Shadow Armor just gives me some 
temp HP. And you want to cast that before fights, and I forget about it. It's only three. Not really worth it for a cantrip. I'm probably going to do a Shadow Dagger, because sometimes I uh, just... Nah, if I can't worry about my chance to hit, chance to save is better. And it's psychic damage, so they're not really ever immune to it. As far as my second level spells... Hold Person is pretty strong. Let's do Acid Arrow and... We'll do Hold Person. Um, we are going to prepare our spells this time, though, because we have not been able to do that. Let's get our Scorching Rays there. Thunder Wave instead. We'll keep Thunder Wave for AoE. <clears throat> Identify we know automatically because it's a ritual. Level up our Masseli. Let's get our Rogue, and we are for sure going to be, uh, be getting a nice little bump for our ability score for our Dex, but we can probably do it in a feat. So, Initiate Archimus, Hard to Kill, Con, Follow Up Strike, Enduring Body. There's so many good extra feats. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Take aim, trip twin blade. Let's get hit by a sword. You can add your AC. Just that's awesome. Take aim. It has take a, you can use a bonus action to take aim until the end of the turn. Your ranged weapons have no disadvantage or, or advantages, no matter what conditions. Not really that great. I, I kind of want my advantages. Uncanny. You ignore three quarters cover. So uncanny accuracy, ignoring range or um, covers. Um, and give me the plus dex, that is probably going to be it, but I want to just check just to make sure. Eager for battle, plus one dex, you have advantage, I don't need that. Constitution, don't need that. District. They lose. After you hit an enemy with one handed weapon, they lose one. Oh, that's actually really cool. Um, melting touch. The first time you end each turn that you deal damage with unarmed attack weapon, you deal acid damage. That's really sweet. We're going to do uncanny accuracy. Um, I don't have a monk. That other one was really cool, though. And let's just get our cleric. And we're just we're stat hungry with clerics. So we're just gonna do ability score. Let's get her. Yeah. Let's get her wisdom bumped up. And I guess we do. Let's do sparkle because light. And not. I I'm pretty happy with this. Let's we'll stick with this for now. Um, eight. I don't really care. A, Advanced ability. This is great in Baller's Gate. Not so much here. Find traps might be helpful. Prayer of healing. Let's just do that. We're a healer. Life cleric. All right. Um, let's go check out that final little spot. Uh, but I'm going to take a quick little break, and we'll pause this video. All right. My break is done. Yeah. I paused the video. I'm not going to just let it stream. All right. Mostly because I don't want to have to edit things. I don't really like to do the editing. So that's kind of why I don't post that much. It's just because I... Uh, yeah. Oh, something lurks up ahead. I feel like we're being watched. And I notice a trap right away. <laughs> okay. Um, let's Yeah, let's go into cautious mode. Something is watching us in this weird swamp. What could it be? Um, we're going to definitely clean that up, though. We don't want to get trapped. Let's see. We're being watched. I'm just going to... I'm just curious. Let's do tree sight. I don't know how long that lasts, but... Well, well, I don't get many visitors. Oh, Elias, show our guests a warm welcome. Ooh, we got a hag and a troll. What? Um, yeah, okay, let's do the hag versus troll. Okay, let's do it. Um, let's see, we can't hold person, so we can't really cheese it too much. Let's do, uh, I know these guys will be able to hit some stuff so we'll do this and bless them and oh I can't cast that spell anymore um, can't sparkle anybody and uh, let's just get I can't move without an attack of opportunity so we'll just move a little bit closer uh oh troll you can take it All right, um, troll is fucking up my paladin quite a bit. Um, that is not a good sign. Uh, let's see, trolls though. Trolls. What do I know about trolls? Alt. Various green giants of uncanny powers of regeneration. Uh oh. It's a CR five. And a CR three. I think it's a level four party. Just imagine if I was level three and did this. Um. Let's see. If I know anything about trolls, they do not like fire. Uh, but my party's still in the way. Uh, okay. Let's let's just go and. Oops. I did not mean to detect magic for my action, uh, but magic is detected. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be kind of worth just running away. You're going to get hit, but 
26 to hit. Yeah, we'll just run away because we kind of wasted our spell. Uh oh. What are you doing? Invisible! Well, thankfully, I did True Sight. Again, uh, that was. This is a random item. I was not intended that way by any means. Uh, but I'm kind of glad that I got to show it off. Um, so. You are within range. Let's just focus down this hag. Plus 10. Did we get sneak? We didn't get sneak attack, did we? Oh, we did get sneak. Okay, cool. Plus 10 to hit because of dexterity stuff. Right on. Love it. Alright, so you can't focus on the hag. So let's do Divine Favor. And now we got a glowing sword. Um, and let's just focus on the troll. Uh, yeah, we will smite with a crit. Take that, you fiend. Take that, you fiend. Round two. I don't have anything that's going to do fire damage, unfortunately. Eighteen hit. Okay. God, seven points of piercing. Okay, that could have been worse. And we just got the plus. Uh, we will do this. I guess we're going to focus down the troll first before the hag because uh, only one person can actually hit the hag at the moment. We'll end it there. The troll is going to t shove, make the shove action, and then swing with advantage and crit my holy paladin. Or not paladin, my uh, cleric taking some hits. I probably lost concentration. Oh, maintains concentration. Okay. Um, let's do some fire bolts. Two, 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 two. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah, hit all three. Perfect. Okay. Not bad at all. We're going to just keep running in the corner. Sustain fire damage. Green hag attacking. She's no longer invisible, but she did just take out our healer. I don't think I get advantage. Or... Let's, let's main hand this first. I do still get a sneak attack. That's actually interesting. Um, but we will do this. Take out that troll. Or not take out the troll. One hit? What? Oh my goodness. Alright, that's a little annoying. Uh, let's just try and take this out then. We don't need to smite. We will take out that hag. Alright, little hag. Oh, I guess my alien is not dead yet. Okay, that's kind of nice. Um, purge corruption. Alright, gonna pick yourself up. Let's just do a use power. Preserve life. One. Oh. Wait, what? Power, preserve life. One or more allies. Oh, half or below. Okay. Um, spirit weapon, why don't you just go over here and beat her up? Gonna be enough to kill her this round, so we're just gonna do a cantrip. We can probably have the rogue finish her if it would hit. Now she's going back invisible, but I have true sight, so we're gonna definitely sneak through this. Oh no! Still miss. Just to get into a round circle. Okay, we're still able to hit her though with true sight. This fight's much harder if you can't see her. Um, okay, so actually. I don't have any, like, AoE things. Oh, I do have an AoE thing. We have his breath weapon. Six? Can we roll six? That will take her down. Awesome. <clears throat> Very clean uh, hag fight. Um, definitely could have been bad. Let's check this out. Do, 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 do. All right, we got some books. Croatian manual. We don't care about that. We're just going to pick that up. And magic detected. Because I casted my freaking thing. Oh my goodness! Scimitar plus two. Awesome loot. Um, very nice. Okay. 
Ooh, half plate plus two. Uh, this is medium armor. Okay. So let's tally this up. Oh, we gotta get our book to our wizard. Um, so half plate plus two. That does bump up our AC by two compared to the heavy mail. We can probably then give this to the cleric. Ups her AC by one. Um, not too bad. <clears throat> Half plate plus two is awesome. Okay. Um, if only I wish I would have bumped up their decks a little bit. And let's see. Now I can use this now if I really wanted and get him to 20 intelligence. However, I might save it till he gets to eight. Oh, excuse me. Um, one sec. I try and pause whenever I'm about to like have a coughing fit. Um, I'm just coming coming off of a cold. Anyway, so this book, um, I might want to save this until I get him to a level eight. Hold on to a book that increases your intelligence for four levels. Because if I do that, I can have a plus two uh, or 20, uh, 22 intelligence. This does not have a limiter. Um, so I can exceed it in beyond level 20. That is really, really powerful. I can also sell this and just buy a bunch of magic items. 20,000 gold value. Really good. Um, so I have some options. I can learn it and get to 20, which I can do with ability score improvements. And honestly, at that point, I'm not sure what I would do at level 8 anyways. Maybe just take a feat of something. Um, I can sell it and really gear out my entire team. Or I can wait and get to a 22 intelligence. What would you do? I, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Those are kind of the three options that I see it. I can sell it. I can use it now, get to 20, and then take a feat later. Or I can take it for 22 intelligence later on. Um, in the meantime, though, let's just... That's all I can really do here. We kind of explored this player area. We got to level 4, or so really good. We have a few different areas now that we can start going. And uh, let's just head back to Fandolin, and uh, yeah. We got some good gear. Oh, we got to use that scimitar with somebody. And I actually need to pick up some arrows. So let's see. Let's pick up some, let's get some basic shopping supplies done. And we can wrap up this episode, I think. And let's go to our general store. This girl was kind of nice to us. I mean, she's higher than everybody else in here. Um, so it's just the market price, I guess, you know. So we will buy a couple arrows from her because we will need them. There we go. Uh, we have 2,000 gold. We can probably go back to that area and get some shopping done, too. Um, this scimitar, who can use it? Plus two scimitar. It does? I could actually use this on my Paladin. I am mostly focusing on range damage on my Rogue. I think, honestly, I just rocked the Scimitar Paladin. <clears throat> that just looks so cool, too. Plus two to hit. Um, so plus seven to hit. Magical. It's a dex weapon, though. It's, I mean, it's better than his plus three. Like... Slashing finesse. Yeah, I mean, I could. Yeah, I, I think that is definitely. I, I mean, I could definitely give it to her, but she's not. She is mostly sniping, especially with the brace of archeries. So I think just giving that weapon to the paladin. I think the paladin decking out our main tank is well worth it. Um, let's put those arrows into her. Probably should buy a little bit more. Yeah. Let's let's go get just one more bundle of arrows. Boop. Do this. Conclude. Perfect. All right. So I'm just curious how much this will actually sell for. If I sell this book to her, five yeah five thousand gold to her. Um. All right. We're going to go back to the Shrine of Luck. And this is just kind of some of the housekeeping things you can do uh, to try and make your journey a little bit easier. We're going to take a short rest and kind of heal up. I don't want to take another long rest. Jeez, you barely rolled anything there. Um, roll. You need them all. 
and uh, arcane recovery might as well. Let's just get that done. Cool. Um, let's go back to that shrine of luck where all those uh, vendors have been. And if I'm confident, I'm pretty sure you get these other. Yep, I think these are repickable. Yep, every long rest. So here's another little tip. If you really kind of want to cheese your way through the game, um, every long rest, these plants respawn. Um, so you can basically make money back, make money in this game extremely easily if you really want to cheese this game or game mode. And I did this intentionally because I wanted a, I want you guys to be able to buy cool items from my wondrous vendors here. Um, like to me, getting some cool magic items and everything else and just making yourself feel more powerful. You absolutely 100% can cheese through this game. And I kind of expect players to do it because when people discover things, they will very often uh, exploit that. Like, um, it's part of hey, it's part of the game. It's available there, and uh, this is easy and a very easy exploit you can do, just to come and get like a couple hundred extra gold. And I, it's it makes the game easier. I will say some of the harder fights are tough. Like I intentionally made this game hard because I figured people will cheese the different things in this. So. Don't, I mean, don't hold back, because I, I sure as hell didn't either. And because of that, like, I'm getting an extra couple hundred gold every long rest I take if I really want to come back here every single time. I'm not going to come back here every single time, but an extra 400 gold? Um, why not? Was this the lady who gave me the fancy price on the scimitar? 504, yeah, yeah, okay. So, just making sure. I uh, don't need a club. Uh, don't really need the scimitar now. It's really just there to kind of test the values of stuff. The longsword. I'm going to keep the longsword just in case I do need it later, if in case I want to switch things around. So we'll conclude with that. And what can I buy? I'm still not wealthy enough to get these big items yet, but when I get a ring protection... And let's see. Doo -doo -doo, I could sell. Oh my goodness. See, I could sell this for 12,000 gold. It'll let me get my cloaks. It'll let me get a lot of different items. Um, but I don't want to do that. But I will actually... Um, there's one thing that I'm still... I thought was an option and it was a cheap option was like a cloak of protection i thought were super cheap somewhere um, let's see but i can get so i can get a plus one shield if i really want to buff him up a little bit more uh studded leather armor plus one more a bag of holding if i really want to cloak of protection 5600 i thought this was cheaper um i could have swore there was a cheaper cloak I might be thinking of the base game. Yeah. Oh, well. So this is where we're going to wrap it up, guys. Feel free. Again, I wanted to show this off because I want you guys to be able to buy these cool items from these cool vendors and sell a bunch of stuff. I sold purposely sold that stuff in that town because I feel like that's what most of you guys will do on their first playthrough. Uh, but uh, you want to sell to these wonderful vendors here in the Shrine of Luck because they will hook you up significantly better. So that's going to be episode two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check us out for number three. If you do want to see more content of this or more playthrough, again, I encourage you, go download the app and go download the mod and give this a run through and then come back and watch me and see how much better I'm better at it than you. So, I mean, I made it, so I know the tricks a little bit more, but hopefully you guys enjoy this and I'll catch you next time.